Hey everybody, my name is April, her name is Emma, and this is Thrifty Nerdy Mom. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're so glad to see everyone. And today we are going to do a few errands. We're, um, going to Goodwill to look for some stuff. I made a list and stuff like that, and I'll share that with you. Um, we are going to Five Below because Emma needs more headphones for school. We have a Kroger grocery pickup. What else are we doing? Oh, and we're about to go to McDonald's. I'm going to get a coffee. To get some pancakes and sausage for me to eat. She loves McGriddles, so I'm going to get a coffee and hash brown, and Emma's going to get a sausage McGriddle. So we're going to go do that and wait for the thrift store to open. They open about 30 minutes, but by the time we get, like, across town and get our McDonald's and stuff, we can have a few minutes to eat, and then we can go in. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to film in there a little bit here and there. I actually brought my phone stand with me this time, or my, like, whatever you want to call it, the little stand that you, phone stand. true mom moment. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, um, I'm gonna let you go so we can go get some food, and then we'll see you in Goodwill. So, this hands-free thing in the car is, like, the way to be. I actually remembered my little stand, and so I'm able to, like, use my hands while I talk. Um, when we pulled up, I was like, oh, it's not that bad. You know, everyone's sitting in their cars just waiting. They're starting to line up now. <laughs> <laughs> these people line up for goodwill like it's 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 a lot sometimes but like to get some of the better deals you got to come early <clears throat> or wouldn't have i came like two weeks ago and it was like really really quiet plus speaking of coming two weeks ago they um i came two weeks ago and they had like this huge rack of like wedding dresses and so, like, if I came two weeks ago, like, those dresses should be half off. So, on my list, like, I want to go look at the, like, fancy... Like, there's one really cute pink dress that I had my eye on. I'm looking for that one. But I just kind of want to look at the other wedding dresses, too, so... You mean the wedding dresses that are left? Yeah. We're going to see what they have. So, we're going to go in and see... And look at that, and, um, yeah. I'm looking for some flowy skirts. Emma's always looking for some toys. I'm actually looking for some more board games. Um, always looking for clothes for Emma. Just because, I, I guess. I'm look at the toys to see if there's anything I want that, that's not too much money. That's why Emma likes coming thrifting with me, is because she can, um, always get the toy. Um, that's not too much money. Yep. Yeah. I don't think I'm looking for Halloween this time because at this point they're going to be marking up Halloween and so I'm not necessarily looking for that, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so we're going to wait a few more minutes. We're not lining up with the crazies and um, then we'll go in and see what we can find. All that good stuff. So we'll see you inside. I have. So if you can see behind me, wedding dresses. They are half off. I can just press on and uh -huh. take you with me. Yeah. Emma's here hanging out. Uh -huh. So, Avengers and Charming on Wedding Dresses. I do have this one on. It's not really my favorite. Which, uh -huh. I mean, why am I looking for wedding dresses? But, it's um, too small to burn up. Well, I could if... It's all the way buttoned back, which is aggravating. But the only problem with this dress is... It's been right over my cart. Which would be great for, like, a Halloween costume. It is, like... Originally marked twenty nine ninety one or ninety two, so I mean it'll be a great Halloween costume for someone if they can get it half off. I mean for fifteen bucks for a Halloween costume is not bad. But what I'm really sad about is I couldn't quite get this one on my booty, but I'm tempted to get it and like it, it be my goal type of thing because I've always wanted a wedding dress like that. So I might get it and just use it like as one day hopes. I don't know. I'll stay tuned. Hey everybody, we're actually back at our house. I did not film a whole lot in the thrift store. I got at this, 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 and go well. Yep. 
We also went to Five Below and then went to Kroger and realized that my Kroger pickups were tomorrow. And they won't let me change the time because I don't get off work until like three. Um, and my order's from like one to two because I thought it was today and it's tomorrow. And I, I don't know. I'll try to call the store tomorrow and see if I can move that to like three or four because my bad. Anyways, I thought I'd show you what we got from Five Below real quick. So we need to go to Five Below. I, um, I've said this on my Dollar Tree videos. I've been looking for the black, like, creepy cloth, whatever you want to call it. Like, the little mesh cloth. Um, this is huge. And it's just like a dollar fifty, and It's like twice the size as um, Dollar Tree. So I can cut this in half and use it for what I wanted to and save 50 cents. So, I picked up that. I found this shirt and I'm so excited. I saw it online and I've been like hoping to find it and I've been having a hard time getting extra larges at my store. It's a Beetlejuice shark! I want to see! Oh! Beetlejuice shirt. So I'm very excited about that. It was on my side! <laughs> Ooh, we got a look or something. And then Emma actually needed some new headphones for school, so we bought her some Descendants 3 themed headphones. Uh -huh. So. And when we got in the car races, that will make me feel like I'm feeling like a villain. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it kind of like for the shopping portion. I'm sorry I didn't film as much. I had a cart full. It's like I projected things that I wanted at um, Goodwill, and they were all there. So we're back inside and I want to go ahead and film this so I can get things washed and put things up and all that good stuff and I mean I'm going to do some things standing and some things like sitting. I think I'm going to try on some things for you so you'll see why I grabbed them but as you can see right here I got a lot of board games. So the first board game I picked up was this Babysitter's Club mystery game. I picked it up for $2.92. I am going to list this on eBay. Um, I kind of did a search while I was there and just looked up the game. And these are selling from like $20 to $30, sometimes even $40. So um, I grabbed it and we're going to list it on eBay and try to sell it. So... For three dollars we'll make some kind of profit and make a little bit of money back and that pays i kind of do that to pay for what i buy thrifting and just at least even out everything that i'm buying because i bought a lot this time um i'm kind of afraid to say it because my fiance is going to see this and he's going to be like oh my god i spent 77 dollars at this store 77 but yeah, we're going to try to recoup some of that money. So, um, next for the game that I got, I just Googled this one. I kind of went in the dark. It was half off because tags were, um, yellow tags were half off. So I got it for like a dollar fifty, and it's this first edition Pictionary set game, you know? I'm going to try to open it up. Like, it's, it's, it's kind of big. And, um, I mean, it's in really good condition. Like, some of the box has some wear on it. But, um, I mean, the box is together. It's not falling to pieces. <laughs> I found this one. It was yellow tag for, like, $1.91. And it's the Headbands games. I do try to find, like, board games to do with Emma and stuff like this. This was half off, so it was, like, less than a dollar. It's more just like, there's tape on it, and the box is falling apart a little bit. Dollar, Emma and I will play it. I do try to find board games for us to play too. So, um, purchasing it, purchasing it for a dollar is not bad. So, um, red tags for a dollar. This was a red tag. It was $1.91, so I paid a dollar for this. This is from 1988. So it's as old as I am, type of thing. And it's um, kind of a Pictionary, but it's picture of this junior. And everything's there. This, if you have been with us a while, you know Emma is all about some Elena of Avalor. She doesn't watch it as much as she was, but she still loves Elena of Avalor. And I found this puzzle 
for less than a dollar and it's a pretty good size puzzle. Made for Christmas Sally Funko plush. It was $1.91. I don't know if I'll get rid of it or we will sell it. But either way, she's really cute. She's so cute. And so, um, yeah, we picked her up. Um, like I said, I don't know if I'll sell her or not, but she's just adorable. Even if I just put her in my kitchen with like all my Disney Halloween stuff, she'll work. We found them in her size today, and they were yellow tacked, so they were a dollar fifty. And she's just so excited to have little glass faux slippers that fit her again. She'll just walk around the house all over them. It was a dollar twenty one. She has like a, I think she probably came with like a tutu, and her hair kind of needs to be fixed. We can maybe even give her a cute little bob cup or something. That'd be cute. Um, her hair's not that bad. She was a dollar fifty one, but. Um, like I said, she's naked. But Emma has plenty of clothes and she will go put these with her Barbies. And today, I found five out of eight. And I paid $10. So we have, I believe, we have year two, so we don't have year one. We have year three, year four, year five, in year seven part one so we are missing year three e no so two three four we're missing sorry i had to sneeze real quick so i just like stopped it real quick so yeah we're missing year one year six and the end of year seven so i mean these were two dollars a piece so we got all these for ten dollars when the whole like entire set with the like the whole case and they don't come all individually for fifty dollars <laughs> speaking of harry potter i paid full price for these which pajamas are like two dollars and there's these harry potter like joggers and they are kind of too small like kind of on the smaller size for her but i looked at her and i was like you know for two dollars if you want to we can just like after we wash these you can try it on and if they don't fit i'll just put them up in my shop type of thing they're just they were too good of a deal to pass up for two dollars and the fact that it's harry potter pajama pants was awesome so we're gonna go ahead and jump well no let's do books real quick before i jump into that huge bag of clothes i just wanted to show you the harry potter pants before because it kind of went along with the harry potter movies so um this is a golden book i've never seen anything like this it says um read and listen pages that talk so it's like enchanted tales being the beast which is like christmas being the beast a friend of mine's daughter is having a baby and I, I don't know if this was on sale most kids books are 50 cents and this was ragtag so I don't know if that was like super on sale or not even if it was still just 50 cents I'll take it but this is rocket science for babies and I just think it's like a really cute book and it's like this ball has no lift the wing has lift I, I just turning in but how do we make the wing move forward? We put it on a rocket ship. So during story time, I don't know what happened. I think my cat kind of got under the tripod, but the tripod almost fell. So we're not going to keep continuing reading. But I picked this up for her because I think it's a really, really cute book. And I'm trying to wait to see what she's having before I like find her clothes. The next book is The Horned Toad Prince. Um, it looks like a princess and the frog thing, and I just, I kind of like the cover, and I'm, and this was 25 cents, so I picked that one up, even if I take that one to work, so yeah, I definitely picked that one up for her, um, I picked this one up for Lauren, I don't know if he's going to want it, he collects golden books, and, I mean, this isn't necessarily a golden book, but he might want it. And it was 25 cents even if he doesn't. And it's just the Lady and the Tramp. If he doesn't want it, we'll either keep it or I can use it for like art and stuff. But I'd rather not use it for art because it's in really, really good shape. Full of these like tiny books for Emma's Barbies. They'd be great for 18 inch dolls too. 
but we picked up like the magical toy books and then a little Moana and it's like the whole story of Moana and it's good like little print and stuff I picked this up originally and then she was like yeah that'd be cool and then she found this little one so I told her yeah because even if I did pay like 50 cents a piece for it for her Barbies or whatever you know it's it's not that much it says it's not a toy so I bet this went with the costume and it's not like I don't know either way I think it's really really cool and it's like this little hat and I asked Emma if she wanted it and she said yes but I feel like I could wear it too the clothes portion um the clothes that I bought for myself I'll try on but there's like a whole lot of clothes that I bought for Emma and we'll say like seated for this one but um and I'll show you the clothes that I got for myself and then try them on type of thing at the end so we're gonna jump on into the huge bag of clothes um this outfit is a ruffle girl which is like a pretty um it's not like an expensive brand but it's a fairly popular brand especially in the south and i bought this it's like all ruffles it's blue and it's yellow and then like the pants to match has the ruffle on the bottom and looking at it it's like the cutest flounder bound it's like the easiest cutest flounder bound so um that rhyme too i paid a uh, dollar 75 for these and i paid a dollar 50 for this so i bought her is this really cute I'm dropping it. This really cute Halloween shirt. It's just like a Walmart brand one, but I love the sleeves and the skull and the little witch hat. And it was yellow tag, so it was half off. So it was a dollar fifty section, but it was a dollar fifty as well because it was yellow tag. And it's just like a simple Nike shirt. And Emma's school does like these houses. I believe there's six colors. Um, it's kind of like um. It brings up like the whole Harry Potter thing, but it's not necessarily Harry Potter, but it's just like Harry Potter because all I know is she's House of Orange. Yeah. She's House of Orange. So I bought this shirt because it's just like an orange Nike shirt. She can wear it for um, like spirit color days. I'm sure they'll have days where you're supposed to wear your house color. And orange is kind of one of those things that you don't always find easily unless it's Halloween. So um, I've been trying to keep my eye out for orange just under armor shorts. They were yellow tag shorts are $2.50. So I bought them for $1.25. Under armor shorts were $1.25. Sometimes Goodwill does like get bougie with the like under armor and the nike and stuff like that and put certain like boutique tags on them and i was surprised i found that for a dollar 25 so bleach spotted black shirt it was a red tag so it was a dollar like i said i feel like it can be boys or girls in words which is awesome and it's like this olive green like roughly skirt it was a dollar so grabbed that for her shirt this one was red tagged it's just a plain orange shirt i could put something on it if i want to or she can just wear it like it is found it in the boys section it's french toast brand i don't know where that come from but it's just an orange shirt i got it for a dollar good spirit week shirt this is for me this is for emma um it's kind of borderline not gonna fit in like I don't know we'll see how it is in the winter like it fits right now but when it's winter time i'm not sure if it'll still fit in it to it so if, if she doesn't i'll put it up on my shop it's jumping beans and it's ray it's really cute and it was a uh, dollar fifty today so i went ahead and picked it up just in case um we can hand it down to someone i can put it in my shop if it doesn't quite fit her when it is winter but yeah it was too cute to pass up for a dollar this will definitely go on my shop Oh, actually, this is funny. I've been looking and I just realized what it said. I just saw the Mickey and was like, yeah, I'll get that from her shop. Um, I don't know if my mom wore a crop top though. I've been looking for a shirt that says best day ever on it, like a Disney best day ever shirt. 
it was a red tag so it's dollar and it's like it has a little stain on it but I can treat that and it will be like it's good as new it's best day ever Mickey Mouse shirt so um reeling it in if my mom would wear like an undershirt with this I think I'm gonna give it to her because she was saying that she wanted a best day ever shirt so um I'll see if she wants it and if she doesn't want it I'll put it in my shop from Walmart but it was really cute it looks like barely worn and it's like this clear purse type of thing it was red tagged so it was a dollar and it has like these flowy sleeves and I just thought it was cool, like cute for Emma she loved that like the sparkles move around in it too so we'll just pair those up with some shorts and she can this shirt was red tagged. It's um, Oshkosh Originals, which probably came from Carter's. But um, I'm from Planet Donut. This is um, this was a dollar. I thought it was really cute. It will probably be for next year. But sometimes I like to stock up when I find like really cute things for a dollar. But it's just like this little perfume sequins bottle, and I really like the like end of the sleeves it's kind of a sweatshirt type material and then it has like that little under shirt looking underneath it so that will probably it may fit this year and just be a little bit long and we can kind of just tuck the sleeves but pick that up for her I found this jacket and it's just like a Walmart brand jacket <clears throat> but I saw it it was red tagged a tag and so it was a dollar and it's like the, f it's just, it's not even like faux leather, it's more like a cotton type thing. But I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, Emma, you could look like man. So I don't know if you can see them that well, but these are the Halloween leggings that I got. And they do fit, so I'll be, and they're cozy and comfy, and I mean, I'll just probably throw the sweater on and go to work throughout the season. Maybe even wear them tomorrow, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah super happy with these and so I'll show you the last item I got next and so last item of hers it was a red tag it is justice and it's just these really cute like cropped pant legging things and it has like these crystals and like little geometric unicorns and stuff like that I think she'll like it they're soft she can wear it in the fall in the spring and stuff like that. I love crop pants for that reason. We live in the south so you never know what the weather's going to do. So and now we're gonna get to only picked up three things for myself. I actually had some t-shirts in my cart and they were full price and I talked myself out of them. I'm kind of proud of it but I have a little bit of FOMO too but I feel like I picked up enough. And seeing this I picked up mostly things for Emma and a few things for my shop so like I said I'll show you these items and then I'll kind of show you them on except for we'll start with this one because I don't think I'm gonna wear these for you guys um it's just I saw at the store I saw like these like pajamas that are Halloween and I was like I want those and then I talked myself out of it because they're ten dollars and I feel like you can only really wear those like during the Halloween season don't get me wrong feeling the spooky vibes all year long but I found these at Goodwill and they're like skulls and I feel like you can almost get away with these more throughout the year than not they're um, Target brand Mor Morona Morona and they're extra large and they were full price, but like full price pajamas are two bucks. So I got pajama pants for two dollars. And we always have like a Halloween pajama day. So there we go. Speaking of Halloween things, I've been loving leggings. So I don't know what size these are. The tag's gone. I'll just have to pull them on. But yeah, I bought some Halloween leggings. Just cause. Yeah, Halloween leggings. And then the last thing I kind of bought, it was a dollar. I feel like this will be great at Animal Kingdom. And yeah, just put some biker shorts underneath it. I'm loving the print and stuff like that. 
So yeah, I'll try this on and I'll show you guys when I try on these two things. And then we'll talk about the last item that I got. So this is the skirt. Um, I thought it gave me like a little bit of Sarvari vibes. It is kind of like sheer, but I would wear biker shorts underneath it. But I feel like I can make this an outfit. Especially for a skirt for a dollar. So I like it. So I don't know if you can see them that well, but these are the Halloween leggings that I got. And they do fit. So I'll be. And they're cozy and comfy. And I mean, I'll just probably throw the sweater on and go to work throughout the season. Maybe even wear them tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, super happy with these. And so I'll show you the last item I got next. I got a wedding dress. Um, I believe some wedding store went out of business or something and donated a whole bunch of wedding dresses. I said this earlier, I saw these like two weeks ago. I was like, if anything, they'll be on sale now. It's a little too small. Or I tried on it for you. It's like three sizes too small. They had it marked for $29.92. It's beautiful. It's everything I wanted in one. Um, so I couldn't leave it behind. It's just, it's so pretty. And like the tag that they had it at the wedding place said originally $2,000. Sale, $1,200. Size 16 and it says can't see it's just in something bridal and so sorry about the sneeze in the background it's just it's beautiful and it has like when I got married to Emma's dad I had these buttons all the way but down like my dress and it was like one of my favorite things and then this one has buttons too but it's not button well it button closure right here and then you zip it up right there it's just it's beautiful and I'm loving it and I cannot wait to fit in it even if I use it as a Halloween costume I'm all about it especially for like $14.75 because it was yellow tagged let me just show you the buttons. Like I said, it is a little bit too small right now, but I am on a weight loss journey, and I feel like this can be that thing that I'm like, I want to fit into it. I'm going to. I'm going to fit into it. Even if I dye it and wear it for something other than a wedding dress. Oh, there's buttons up there too to like make it more of a keyhole back. I'm so in love with it. Hey. But yeah, so that was my big purchase of the day. And like I said, I believe the biggest purchase I've ever made at Goodwill. Did I need it? No. Did I want it? Kind of. Yeah. I even called my sister in the dressing room. Emma was in the hand. I was like, um, Rachel, should I get this? And she was like, um, yeah. Your original wedding dress was like $400. And Roll it back, it was two fifty. Um and she said that um I mean you're saving three eighty five. I just I'm so happy with it. And I could dye it different colors if I wanted to not do like a little white thing. Cause I kinda don't want to, you know, because it's me. But um I think it's still. Comment down below and let me know. <laughs> Am I crazy for getting this dress? Comment and let me know. But, um, that's the epic haul for the day. Thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for more thrift hauls because I love thrifting. Like I said, I'm trying to sell a few things here and there that I find at the thrift store to make a little bit of profit to help me justify purchases like a wedding dress. But, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you real soon.
Bye.